Click the link below for a 30 day free trial of Audible. Yo! Ah, 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 yes, we are back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a decent amount of time since my last hot take batch of videos. Uh, recently before, I had went on a community post and I asked you guys for some hot takes regarding JJK or just anime in general, and I got some... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I got some good content, I'll, I'll put it that way. But today, we actually have a second batch. I made another uh, separate community tab post. I also went into my Discord. Uh, please make sure you join the Discord if you wanna be a part of that. We be, uh, we, we be chilling in there. And uh, yeah, we got some uh, pretty good responses for this one as well. Uh, again, I'm gonna split this up into multiple videos. There's just a lot to go through. Uh, so if you guys are in any of these videos, I appreciate you giving me your opinion. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Real quick pause on this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a question for you. Are you looking for something fashionable and affordable to wear anime related these days? Are you looking for an anime inspired t-shirt, a hoodie, a hat, or even like lights or anything of that nature? Well, boy, I tell you, head on over to AnimeExpressStore.com and oh yeah, they'll hook you up over there. I actually just copped one of these Megami t-shirts. This thing's actually fire. I'm actually so excited to get it. And ladies and gentlemen, I have a special announcement for y'all. Go ahead at your next check out hit code daffy10 for 10 percent off your next purchase man oh yeah we sponsored now so i can curse in this bitch. yeah remember daffy10 d-a-f-f-y one zero for one zero percent off of your next purchase man we have at fen z the zenin clan massacre should have went on for a few more chapters imo i can see it i i, I can see it i think the reason it was so short was to well, it was full of a couple of reasons. Number one, Gege was sick at the time, right? So, uh, Gege, I believe he, or I'm sorry, after this chapter, uh, Noya's death, where like Noya gets stabbed, there's that really short chapter where Maki brings Mai's body to uh, Pigtail Girl, uh, the witch. Uh, broom girl, I forget her name. Um, and it's like it's like it's like a twelve page chapter, like ten pages or something like that. And then Gege went on break for I believe four months to three. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so I think that's part of the reason why it was so short. Uh, and number two, I think it was also to give Maki uh, an overwhelming sense of power, right? I think what when, when this gets animated, I actually do kind of want them to keep the messy and unfinished style as far as um, the animation the storyboards go I actually do kind of think it'll, it'll work well to give us it'll, it'll give it this visceral feeling so that'll be really cool to see um but i can see it i can see it being uh, a few more chapters that would have been kind of cool there are like way more special grades than people realize this is coming from pseudo nim kz3 fr we know four confirmed gojo ghetto yuta and yuki with two mm. more in sakuna and kenjaku okay that's six we also know that others have temporarily reached special grade levels of power ultimate mecha maru or are believed to be unregistered special grades principal yaga where was it ever stated that principal yaga was un an unregistered special grade i do not remember that and also he, did he didn't show us anything i mean if you count creating like cursed corpses and making them like giving them life a special grade i guess but no the only two descriptions we get are Kenjaku saying there's enough power to take over a nation and Gege saying cluster bombs might not be even enough. Oh, this is a lot. Okay. I'll try to breeze past this. Kind of. Several sorcerers find themselves undeniably in that weight class going by the description. Sukuna just put Ryu, whose output is higher than any color games player, including Yuta, Kenjaku, Kichimo, above Yuji and Yuta in terms of durability. His AP is clearly top of verse. Yorozu stated to have the highest output of anyone in the Heian era of the Golden Period of Jutsu. Where Sukuna was caused terror. Her technique is also broken both offensively. And Kashimo, especially FBA form, is a contemptuous for top five in the verse. Ah! I don't know about this. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know. I don't, no, 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 we're not. No, we're not saying that. We're no, straight up. No, 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 no. Top five. No, Kashimo is not top five at all. No. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll let you cook here. Uro fought in Ryu. Fun Ryu and Lucha's level at domain some cool lip service feats we don't get to really see. Drew of his side is literally solely half a nation, literally meeting Kenjaku's special criteria or word. Toji and Maki can't be given that rank bar deniably at special grade level in terms of power. Uh, yeah, okay, so actually, I I see what this guy's saying. I plan on making a video on this, but the special grade system in JJK has just gotten out of control at this point. Um, it makes no sense. We talk about special grades, people say that, uh, that Mahito 
and during Shibuya, he reached special grade status, right? But you have a special grade sorcerer and special grade curse. You have a special grade sorcerer like Sakuna, right? Or even a Shikigami, right? We can all agree that Maharaga is special grade, right? You only have five different grades for all these different varying levels of power. We start getting into coin game stuff like this guy's saying, and there's so many different players across the board. Now, Drew, I mean, I don't, we did, we only saw him for what, a page before he was cut in half uh, by YouTube. It's just, it's so weird. I, I think Gege rubs up to a corner because I think, I think it was listed in uh, volume zero uh, that. But what the special grade uh, ranking system vaguely was mentioned, and then I want to say it was like around chapter four or five, or Ichigi or I I Ichigi, whatever his name is, uh, started talking about it as well with a little diagram. But yeah, uh, also Saku. Wait, what? It's likely Hakari and Jackpot will meet the criteria for surviving cluster bombs. Well, here's the thing: Hakari isn't special grade, and it's because of his level of strength. Uh, his regen is special grade, obviously. It's dis a disgusting amount of. Reverse curse technique uh, is automatic, and but the thing is, is that he's just punch kick and that's it. Um, there's no he doesn't like his domain expansion is just a buff. It's, it doesn't nerf the opponent in any way. Uh, so no, Akari is not supposed to raid. I don't, I don't think so. But I see what this guy's saying. I see what this guy's saying. Akari was never Yuta level, and he isn't making it out of Sendai Colony. This isn't a hot take, though. I don't... What? Captain Budak. That's Cap because Akari has the ability to be lethal if he wants. If he went in with the intent to kill Ryu, and he cannot easily. But he can sharpen his curse energy. He could... Dude, uh, listen. Everybody and their mother can use curse energy. That doesn't... That's not... No. No, 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 no. Dude, as soon as we get out of Shibuya or hell, even if we get out of the, the versus Mayuto arc, if you ain't got a curse technique or a domain, simple domain, some uh, you know, hollow wick, wicker basket or something at your disposal, punches and kicks ain't gonna get it done, bro. Like, even I don't know how Hikari's gonna manage to beat uh, is gonna be to beat Urame, um, unless Urame just tires herself out. I don't know, but no, dude. I, I, I dude, if here's the thing if Ryu decided to just like blow Hikari away and just like just vaporize ha like his entire body, I'm sure it could be done, right? I, I'm sure he definitely c could do it. Now, could Hikari shrink his body with curse energy? I don't know, possibly. Uh, but no. And then, like, dude, like, outside of the jackpot, like, what's Hikari gonna do to somebody like Sakuna or even, like, Mahito, for example, right? Like, Mahito would beat the holy shit out of Hikari, right? Now, like, it's cool that you have a regeneration, but it, when he actually starts, like, messing with your soul, there's nothing you can do. So, no, 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 no. All this Hikari gobbling is kind of making me itch. Uh, but no, I thought it was always known that Hikari was never Yuta level. Yuta, the people would take that little panel of Yuta saying he kind of was, and then like Maki immediately says, no, he's not. Like, let's go ahead and look at this past like th three chapters of Yuta and Yuchi versus Sakuda. You tell me Hikari could do some of that. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. The regen, maybe. The actual damage, no. We have Excuse My Weeb Rudeness. I'm not sure if this is a hot take, but Chozo should have been the one to die to Kenjaku, not Yuki. Kamo is there to teach Yuchi blood manipulation, and it would have been nice to have more time with Yuki. Give her a rematch with the odds aren't so aggressively against her, and Tengen isn't using her. Well, here's the thing. It wasn't the odds. It was the fact that, uh, well, I guess it was the odds, but it was the fact that it was kind of an ass pull. Um, and Kenjaku was never stated or shown to have anything related to gravity in his kit whatsoever. And then when they're fighting, he just pops this uh, curse technique that's, oh, it's gravity. Oh, Yuki, your whole thing is gravity. <sighs> like that's that. People hate the convenience, not actual like the odds against uh, Yuki. Instead of her, instead of having her research be what Yuji looks like, have it directly come from her mouth. I think that'd be good. I, I mean, Yuki had maybe one or like three conversations with Yuji. Um, I definitely, I, I, I could agree with this. Shozo cares so much for his brothers, having him die to his father while trying to avenge them, make a fittingly tragic end for him. I, that seems that's kind of cliche, honestly. I, I I see what you're going. I I, I am glad you uh, Gege didn't go that route. I do enjoy Chojo, Choso. Um, I, I I do think that'd be kind of be a, a cliche. But I see what you're saying. We have Wayne and Daiva. 3953. Maharaga saved Sukuna and Gojo capped in the airport when he said he would have lost ten shadows or nah. So here's the thing is people don't really understand that that was the real like the biggest piece of characterization we've ever gotten from Gojo in this entire series. Um, we don't really have a whole lot of Gojo's solo thoughts and and all these different things. Right. Uh, we even like in hidden inventory. Right. It's pe people on the outside saying what Gojo's feeling or or explaining his actions. Right. Like we have that panel 
or you know that little scene where gojo's like kind of rubbing his eyes or whatever like that and like ghetto tells us and the audience like he didn't sleep all night he was been worried and da 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 all this stuff right um it's just gojo's feeling whether or not it's rational it, it's 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 his own feeling you really can't say that for sure but then also like we know straight up now that sakuna still has stuff that he hasn't shown us right um like he had the hollow wicker basket uh that he didn't even use now i don't know i, I don't know if that'll even i i forget i think that neg negates the sure hit i guess it wouldn't really have mattered um because he would have put himself at a disadvantage because he would have uh, had less uh, limbs to use uh, at that time. But no, I don't. I, I mean, whether or not Gojo was telling the truth, he that's how he himself felt. So I don't really think that's that's uh, that's, that's anything too major. Uh, but I see what you're saying. I don't give enough uh, positive takes, so I'll do that instead. This is coming from Explosive Grape 703. Talk about versus Kenjaku is the best Shinjuku showdown battle so far. <sighs> Over Gojo and Sakuna is crazy. Wow. Okay. The character dynamic between Kenjaku and Takuma both discrediting each other only to end up respecting each other was great. I, I like that. I agree. Uh, we don't get a lot of gag fights in Shonen. Gege was very creative. I got a couple laughs at me like Kenjaku's goofy, uh, goofy face. I agree. I think Gege deserves a lot of credit for making someone like Takuma likable, especially when 75% of the fan base hated his guts. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think a lot of people were excited to see Takuma in action. I mean, you have those memes of like, oh, save Jujutsu Society, Takuma, and all those different things. But I certainly don't think the people were uh, against Takuma or anything like that. Yuta ruined it a bit, which sucks because in the end, I'd rather... I'd rate it rather high. Well, no, I, I, I disagree. I think it's, it's interesting characterization for Kenjaku um, because he's just like years old being and he's not like super just like like he's demented for sure but he's not like super super serious all the time like he like he can he makes jokes he's like telling talk about why he's not funny he's giving examples of how to be funny you have like all these different things um going on but i don't think you said ruined it i mean then that panel dude that that league night was crazy like when you that panel popped up with yuta like about to cut his head off dude people were hyped because people like yuta was at like people think that like, yuta's like at like a crazy agenda like right before he popped his domain like then no dude the youtube agenda like they're saying he had tickets to africa with maki and all this other shit like no dude utah utah fans were in the dirt before this chapter hit so i i i disagree but it, it, it is one of the better fights I, I agree um we'll see if hakari versus urame is better i'm assuming that we're gonna go back to urame versus hakari on uh, this next chapter we have your boy plank 67 64 the only people who hate on madoka magica are the ones who haven't seen it i cannot speak to that i have not watched that show uh, it's on my list um yeah sneed and feeding maki is the only character in jjk that has had significant character development that is cap good lord okay also people think the character development means that the character has to go in a good direction you can also have character development where a character goes in a bad direction as well or like uh you know they like Character development means that their character is moving in a direction, right? Uh, so like Aaron having character development, but he starts, you know, going on his, uh, his, 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 his like journey of vengeance or whatever like that. And then he ends up finding out that, oh, I actually have to fix this, but I got to put myself as the bad guy, whatever like that, that would count, right? Um, or even like Sasuke's fall into despair and, and, and his quest for vengeance as well. And even him like, you know, showing up at the Kage summit like all that would cons i would consider character development you know what i mean um i disagree with this pretty hard um but i i respect i respect you for for, for saying it loud and proud so i like to hear that's the thing about these hot take videos man a lot of people are scared to be wrong so don't ever be uh, scared to be wrong man also this is an opinion as well but i think this will wrap up this current batch right here we have embrace your inner toffet Embrace your inner top hat, excuse me. Uh, Gojo ain't that strong as a sorcerer. Everyone else is just weak and lazy. <sighs> oh, jeez, I'm peace. Okay. Gojo says many of his students can surpass him. Mahito is a thing. And Sakuna says Jogo could have been Gojo level in Hanami, probably too. Domain amplification ain't easy. Also, Gojo in the first chapter is accused of the higher-ups of having done things to nerf sorcerers for a long time. Um... 
here's the thing is gojo was insanely strong number one due to his raw genetics of having both the six size and limitless at his uh potential in his hand but the fact that also like he's just he's just a, a sponge as far as like techniques and thinking on the fly and all these different things like sakura thought he was legit gonna die right and even with this past current chapter of sakura like tanking a jacob's ladder even while in a weakened state at a maximum output it's crazy, dude. And he still had a smile on his face. But when Gojo started getting his voltage back and all these different things, like, Sukuna was kind of like... Ugh. Um... No one else has given Sukuna that feeling uh, so far. Even when, like, Yuji's, like, punching Sukuna's soul directly and trying to, like, split him up, he's more irked than anything. He's just, like, annoyed. But that's it. Uh, Mahito is a thing. I mean, Mahito, like, again, when we get into the killing game stuff, Mahito's... Uh, it starts to, like cap out pretty hard as far as his like power level goes um jogo could have been gojo level i mean i i don't think that sakuna said that i think that sakuna said that he could have been strong but he should have like cast everything aside or whatever uh i don't think he said he was could have been gojo level but uh same thing with hanami i mean no i mean that's just that's also an expression as well right is that you could have been just as strong i wouldn't say necessarily at gojo level but yeah all right, so that'll do it for the first batch of these hot takes. Let me know what you guys think of the hot takes video so far. Uh, so I think we have about possibly two or three more parts to go. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. I have no idea why I just decided not to talk there. It's been your boy, Daffy, guys. I will see you guys in the next hot takes video. Make sure you take care of yourselves. Have a good one. Peace.